the book of Matthew, chapter 5, 6, and 7. The correct translation. The parts changed and removed are written in bold text. Chapter 5, 1. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain to teach unto them the things which the Father had commanded of him. And when he was set in the place where he would teach the people, he called forth his disciples, and they came unto him that they might hear more clearly the things that he would command the people, so that they could teach these same things unto the people as they had been given authority to do. 2. And after he had presented his disciples before the people, he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are ye if ye shall give heed unto the words of these twelve, whom I have chosen from among you to minister unto you, and to be your servants. And unto them I have given power that they may baptize you with water, if ye repent, and believe on the things which I shall give unto you from my Father. And after that ye are baptized with water, which is the covenant ye shall make before God, that ye shall do the things which I shall command you this day. Behold, I will baptize you with fire and with the Holy Ghost, which shall cause you to know that the things that I shall give unto you are true. And this fire shall burn within you, giving you a remission of your sins by the peace that ye shall find in your souls. For ye are poor in spirit, and seek for the kingdom of heaven. And it is this kingdom that I shall give unto you this day. 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit who come unto me, and learn that which the Father hath given me for them. For their spirit shall be filled, and they shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. 4. And again, Blessed are they that mourn because they seek for more righteousness but cannot find it in the doctrines and precepts of men which they have been given. For they shall be comforted by the words which I give unto them this day. 5. Blessed are the meek who seek to do the will of the Father in all things, for they shall inherit the earth that hath been prepared for them. 6. And blessed are they who do hunger, and thirst after righteousness in meekness, and lowliness of heart for they shall be filled with the Holy Ghost who shall teach them all things. 7. And blessed are the merciful who love others, and extend to them no judgment for what they do, which is evil, for they shall obtain mercy for that which they do, which is evil. 8. And blessed are all the pure in heart who in righteousness seek to know God and his ways, that they might understand truth, and not to consume it upon their lusts, as do they who are impure. Behold, they shall know God. 9. And blessed are the peacemakers who contend with no man over doctrine. Yea, these shall come to know the true doctrine, and then they shall be called the children of God. 10. And blessed are they which are persecuted, and mocked by others because of their righteous works for they shall find their peace and happiness in the kingdom of heaven. 11. And blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely because of that which ye do for my sake. 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad in your persecutions and afflictions for so persecuted they the prophets who were before you who I sent unto the people to teach them these things. For your reward shall be given you from heaven by receiving peace and comfort from the Spirit of God. 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, even as ye are given as examples unto all men of the peace that ye receive from the Father. But if the salt hath lost its savour, wherewith shall the earth be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out again into the earth from whence it came, and to be trodden underfoot by men. For the Father will not have those whom he hath chosen give a false example of him. 14. I am the light of the world that the Father hath given unto the world that lieth in darkness. And he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, 
but shall have the light of life. And ye have been given me of the Father. Therefore ye also are the light of the world, and with the light that the Father hath given unto us, we shall be as a city of light set on a hill that giveth light unto all the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, because it is in the view of all the world. Therefore, men who have received light cannot hide it from the world. 15. Neither do men light a candle, and make a measure of that light unto others by putting it under a bushel. For the light cannot be measured to any man in a portion, but he putteth it on a candlestick so that all may partake equally thereof, and it shall give light unto all that are in the house. 16. Let your light so shine before all men by the good works that ye do, because of the light that the Father hath given unto you, that they might see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law that hath already been given you of Moses, or of the prophets who have come before me. I am not come to destroy the law or the prophecies, but to fulfill them every whit. For behold, the law of Moses and the prophets pointed all men to me, giving in darkness what ye now see in the light. 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, if it were possible, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, which hath been given till all be fulfilled. For this is the law and the prophets, even all the commandments that have been given by the Father, that ye should worship God with all your heart, might, mind, and soul by keeping his commandments. And this is his commandments, that ye do unto others what ye would have them do unto you. And there shall be no more law given except those commandments that I give unto you this day. 19. Whosoever therefore shall break any of these commandments that I give unto you, and shall teach men to do so by his example, he shall in no wise be saved in the kingdom of heaven. For these commandments is the law that ye shall also keep there. But whosoever shall do these commandments of the law until it be fulfilled, and teach them, the same shall be called great, and be saved in the kingdom of heaven. 20. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. For the scribes and Pharisees sit in the seat of Moses, and teach the commandments, but they do not abide by them, and by their example teach many to break these commandments. Therefore I have said unto you, that whosoever shall do these commandments, and teach them shall be saved in the kingdom of heaven. And behold, I shall give unto you the law and the commandments of my Father, that ye shall believe in me, and that ye shall repent of your sins, and come unto me with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Behold, ye have the commandments already before you, and ye must now know that in me is the law fulfilled. Therefore come unto me, and be ye saved. For verily I say unto you, that except ye shall keep my commandments, which I have been commanded to give unto you at this time, ye shall in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. 21. Behold, ye have heard that it was said of them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. And this is the law that the scribes and Pharisees teach unto you, and which they do not understand. For they have said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth, and that ye shall stone and kill those who violate the law. But wherein shall the commandment be fulfilled if ye kill him who hath killed? Are not ye both then of the same sin? 22. But I say unto you, He that killeth in any manner, and for whatever reason lieth in sin, and whosoever is angry with his brother for any reason, shall be in danger of the same judgment, because the anger in his heart might lead to the death of his brother. 
and whosoever shall hold his brother in contempt or ridicule shall be in danger of the law that hath been given by the counsel which rendereth the law. But whosoever shall say to his brother for any reason, Thou fool, shall be in danger of a hell like unto fire, which shall burn in his soul because of that which he thinkest of his brother. 23. Therefore, if thou presentest thyself at the altar as a righteous offering to God, and there rememberest that thy brother hath out against thee, because of that which thou hast done unto him. 24. Leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way until thou canst offer up a gift in righteousness. And before thou offerest thyself as a gift to God, first be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. 25. Yea, be kind to thy brother, and respect the opinion of he who disagreeth with thee, and considereth thee his adversary, whilst thou art still in his good graces, that thou mightest remain in the way with him, lest at any time he who considereth thee an adversary causeth thee to sin. For in whatsoever sin thou shalt be found, thou shalt be delivered to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. 26. For I am thy righteous judge, and by my word shalt thou be judged. And if it so be that thou hast offended thy brother in anger, thou shalt not be delivered from the anguish of thy soul, until thou hast suffered for that which thou hast done. This is the state in which thou shalt find thyself in the kingdom of my father. And this state is like unto a prison. Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. 27. Behold, ye have heard that it was said by your leaders that they of all time commanded, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But the scribes and Pharisees have given you their unrighteous example in this thing, because they look upon women and lust after them, having many concubines and wives, justifying their wickedness by them of old time. 28. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Therefore your leaders have caused you to err, because of their examples. Ye look at them as your guides who have eyes that see for you, and hands that do for you that which ye believe God hath commanded of them. 29. For ye have seen of the Jews that those who are their leaders, who lead them, and are their standard, do mislead them, and cause them to sin before the Father, and disobey his commandments. And it is better that a man have no leader, than be led into the same hell with his leader, whom he hath made his standard. And if thine eye which seeth for thee, even him that is appointed to watch over thee to show thee light, becometh a transgressor, and offend thee, pluck him out. For it is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye, than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. For it is better that thyself should be saved, than to be cast into hell with thy leaders, where their worm dieth not, and where the fire is not quenched. 30. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it also off, and cast it from thee. For the works that thy leaders do by their unrighteous example causeth thee to stumble in darkness. For it is more profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish in that thou leavest those who do the works of God for thee, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. 31. It hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. And this they have said to justify the lust that they have for another woman who is not their wife, thinking that with a divorcement they shall be free of sin. 32. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, so that he might be justified in the lust of his heart and his fornication, hath committed adultery, and is not free from sin, because of the covenant that he made with his wife. 
And whosoever shall marry her that is not divorced committeth adultery. And this I say, because your leaders justify themselves in their lust for women who are not their wives, but condemn those caught in fornication, who are not married by their laws. 33. Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them that they of old time commanded, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oaths. And this they have said unto you, that they might keep you in bondage to them, who have set themselves upon the throne of God. 34. But I say unto you, Make no oath to any man, and forswear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne upon which only he can perform his oaths, and your leaders cannot perform his oaths in unrighteousness upon this earth. 35. Nor should ye forswear yourselves by the earth, for it is his footstool where his oath shall be fulfilled, even as I am here to fulfill them. Neither should ye forswear yourselves by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, who is not of heaven, but is here now upon the earth to fulfill all things sworn by the Father. 36. Neither shalt thou by thy head commit thyself to any matter because thou canst not make one hair of thy head white or black. 37. But let your communication among each other be, Yea, yea, this I can do, or nay, nay, this I cannot do. For whatsoever is more than these can cause evil. 38. And again, ye have heard that it hath been said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth, doing unto another what he hath done unto you. 39. But I say unto you, that ye shall not resist this evil that another doeth unto you, because I have commanded you to do unto another what ye would want him to do unto you, and ye would not want to lose an eye, if yours was taken, or a tooth, if one was lost by the hand of another. But whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, Turn to him the other also, that he might see thy love for him, and stop that which he doeth unto thee. 40. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, do not fight for that which he desireth of thee, but let him have thy cloak also. 41. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain showing that your love is greater than the vengeance of him who compelleth thee to do a thing against thy will. 42. If thou hast that which thou canst give, then give to him that asketh of thee, and from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away lest he esteem thee as his enemy. 43. Ye have heard that it hath been said of your leaders that ye shall love your neighbour who is like unto you and believeth as ye believe, and that ye should hate your enemy, and cast him out from among you, even he that doth not believe as ye believe, that ye be not misled by the hand of an enemy. 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them who despitefully use you, and persecute you. 45. That ye may become the children of your Father who is in heaven, who is no respecter of persons, for he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust, all being his beloved children. 46. For if ye love only them who love you, what reward have ye of your Father in heaven? Do not even the publicans do the same? And ye know that they are wicked, yet your father loveth them still. 47. And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than the others who ye condemn as sinners? Do not even the publicans so salute only those who are their friends? 48. Behold, those things which were of old time, which were under the law that ye have been taught by your leaders, in me are all fulfilled. And for this reason hath the Father sent me to you, 
that ye might repent and do the works that I have commanded you to do and follow the example that I have given unto you that ye might therefore be commanded to be perfect in the love that ye have one for another even as your father which is in heaven has a perfect love for you end of chapter 5